On December 16, 2013, the head of the U.S. Energy Information Administration presented their annual energy outlook for 2014. They presented what they called their reference case, which basically means their best guess for what will happen in the future given current conditions. The event took an hour and 18 minutes, but we're going to give you the natural gas highlights in just five. So one of our main conclusions is that natural gas and oil are going to continue to grow. Uh, natural gas throughout the entire time frame, oil uh, until sometime uh, either later this decade or maybe early into the next decade. Shale gas uh, we still see expanding, so we don't see any peaking at all in the ability of industry in the United States to produce shale gas. We're seeing ex expansion in tight gas production as well as shale gas production. Uh, shale gas alone, just look at the numbers roughly running from 50 to 100 will be half of U.S. Uh, natural gas production. Uh, this is a remarkable development. That growth in production is going to allow for uh, considerable increases in uh, consumption in the industrial sector and in the electric utility sector. So we expect that natural gas will surpass coal in terms of electricity generation. And here's the split. Uh, natural gas growing from about 30% uh, of electricity generation currently uh, to 35 by the end of the forecast period. Uh, renewables uh, continuing to grow. Uh, coal flattish in the near term, uh, but coming down. One skeptic pointed out that coal electricity has increased in recent months as natural gas prices have risen. So why is this not the trend of the future? Uh, even with our increases in natural gas prices out over the long term, uh, we don't see a great deal of increase in, uh, in coal. Uh, there just aren't a lot more coal plants likely to be built. And some of the coal plants that we already have could retire on an economic uh, basis. One of the other uh, interesting things that's happening in natural gas is the increase in shale gas production is uh, allowing for considerable growth in um, natural gas in manufacturing. Uh, these are stacked up in order of the, of the growth uh, coming. Uh, so the biggest growth is at the top and moving down towards the bottom. So we're seeing a huge increase actually in natural gas use in refining, in bulk chemicals, and even in food processing. Uh, we still forecast that the U.S. is going to be a net exporter uh, of uh, natural gas. I think uh, last year we thought that it would be roughly 2020 when that was going to take place. Uh, now, uh, given uh, higher natural gas production numbers, uh, mainly uh, that crossover uh, point is, uh, is much sooner, and uh, we're expecting the U.S. to become a net exporter of natural gas uh, this uh, decade. Uh, this chart shows our projections for uh, natural gas exports. Uh, biggest U.S. exports of natural gas uh, are uh, exports to Mexico by pipeline. So we're currently a net importer of natural gas from Canada, uh, but those numbers have been coming down. For a given unit of energy, natural gas is expected to stay one-third the price of crude oil. This will open some doors to natural gas in transportation. Natural gas uh, in the transportation sector is expected to grow, uh, finding its way into freight trucks uh, as LNG as well as rail and marine uses, uh, and continuing use of compressed natural gas uh, in light duty vehicles and buses. Fairly impressive growth expected there. This transportation growth is not a major factor in overall domestic demand as it's dwarfed by industrial and electric power usage. Even with all of this uh, activity, uh, carbon intensity of fuels in the U.S. continues to decline and carbon emissions related to energy uh, consumption are uh, unlikely to ever see the 2005 peak of 6 billion uh, metric tons. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit our webpage.